So let's go through some more of these 100 NFL bold predictions. We are about eh, now about 95 days away from the NFL season. So let's start with this one today. There will be nine head coaching vacancies at the end of the season. Let me just go through a couple teams here. Maybe we can get to nine. You let me know what you think. Sure. The Jets. No. They, they no. don't make the playoffs. No. Robert no. Sala, they traded for Aaron Rodgers. You okay. traded for Aaron Rodgers. He's a weirdo. You, you actually get that, – that's worth two years. Okay. Like, that's a weirdo tax. Stefanski in uh, Cleveland. I could see that. He was on yeah. the hot seat last year. Uh, let's go to Tennessee. Vabral. Yeah. He's so respected, but they might be so bad that, that he, it's run its course. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's go to the Raiders or in the Chargers in the West. Yeah. I could see both. Yeah. Okay. Go back to the East. You have Dallas. Yes. Always a possibility. The commanders are probably going to be looking for another coach. Yep. Six. Okay. Uh, the Bears. Could I see it? Yes. Do I think it's going to happen? No. Didn't they? Wait. Oh, you know what? I think I'm wrong. He had one year last year. So, no, they're not yeah, going to fire him. No. He just got there. Things would have to fall off the rails. I think they're going to like be. Justin Fields would have to walk in and be like, either him or me. Yeah. And I think they're going to be marginally better this year and he'll be safe. Tampa Bay. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to they're gonna be terrible this year. And then uh, let's go to the West, the Rams. Yeah. <laughs> now that might is that him getting fired or him retiring, which has been whispered about. It just says nine openings. Okay, nine open. It could be nine. Could, nine seems like a lot, could, but that, but that it did, but now it doesn't. Almost a third of the league. But isn't that about what happens? Isn't it normally like seven, eight guys every year? That's not crazy. Yeah, they, and they have a list here of guys who are candidates. Of course, Ben Johnson, Ivero, the DC in uh, Carolina, Frank Smith. I mean, there's a lot of uh, Josh McCown. There's a lot of guys that. Are saying they're next, so somebody has to go, right? See, mm-hmm. oh. I think now what would have been a bold prediction to me is saying a coach from last year's playoff teams would be let go. That would be bold. Well, there's Dallas. Dallas would be the one. Yeah. Well, it's interesting you said that because then we go to the next bold prediction would be five teams that made the playoffs last year will miss the postseason. That is on their list: the Bucks, the Dolphins, the Giants. Seahawks, Vikings. <laughs> no. The Bucks, I don't think make it. I think the Dolphins will be there. Uh, was the Bucks? Giants are also Giants. The Giants overachieved last year. They could come you know back what? down to earth. See, but it's hard because Mike just sandbags the Giants I, so it, much. The worst about it. So I don't know if they're really that bad as he says that they are. They overachieved. They did overachieve. They overachieved. I guess the question is, I think Seattle's back. Yeah, and I, and I, honestly, I know Lions fans think that Minnesota is going to fall off a cliff. I think the Vikings will still be there. I don't think, and they may win the division. Shh, shut your mouth, boy. <laughs> wow. Okay, then. So let's go to some awards possible for next season. Christian Gonzalez will win the Defensive Rookie of the Year. <laughs> Are they trolling us? Is that what that is? <laughs> it's not. It's not a Detroit okay, thing. Okay. All right. All right. Hmm. Not not uh, your guy. Well, he's going to be in a rotation. Oh, so. right. Yeah. They have part time player. They all. have a plethora of players. That's so, right. You know. Uh, I can't see. I'm trying to think. Who, what defensive? What about player? Will Anderson? Jack Campbell, Will Anderson, um, Joey Porter Jr. Like normally, it's a pass see, rush. See, Joey Porter I, Jr. plays with Pittsburgh, so I could see that. Oh, see, I, I I could see, but a secondary guy meaning they picked on you. Constantly. Right. So, yeah. But you test it? the rookie, don't you? You test the rookie. And, and Sauce was so good last year, but we need to stop acting like that's a year in and year out thing. That was so unique. It's going to be somebody who gets a bunch of sacks or pressures right. or hits. And I think Will Anderson's a pretty safe bet, right? Yeah, you're probably right. He's about the first that. defensive player drafted. I know I'm not giving like a, a super hot take here. Uh, next on the list Matt Campbell. <laughs> <laughs> Leads next the league in tackles. Let's see it. He, he won the award in college. Jamar Chase will win the Offensive Player of the Year. Oh, I think he could have a big year. He was injured part of last season. They're going to be a little better up front with Orlando Brown at the tackle position. Burrow loves him. ton of red zone targets. I could see it. No. I think he's the best receiver in football. He will have the best season of any receiver in football this year. Yeah, he's been no, he's been known to be – he he said, I'm sorry, that he wants to break 
Chad Johnson's uh, single season team record. You got to remember his first year, he had like f- nearly 1,500 yards as a rookie, a full healthy 17 games in year three. I, I still, think it's going to be big. I still like Justin Jefferson, but David, I know what you're going to say. Christian McCaffrey. No, that's a good choice. Cooper Cup's coming back from injury as well. Hmm. <laughs> okay, then. Does he have a quarterback? Next question. The next question <laughs> will be about – no, it's not. I'm not going to do that one about his quarterback. Let's move on to the next award, He's Miles Garrett. In, I stole a Super Bowl trophy. <laughs> <laughs> Miles Garrett will win Defensive Player of the Year. Sure. Is that that bold? Has he won one before? I feel like he's always in the running. He's no. like one or two at the very end. I don't think he's won one before. That's no, not man. that bold to me. But you also need to be on a good team. <laughs> I think he can win it without. Defensive, is, I think is, he can is, win is, it without. Hasn't TJ Watt won it without the Steelers being special? I'm sorry. Excuse me? Ten wins? Maybe not special, but ten wins is something in Pittsburgh. Okay. All right. Let's move on to the next one. Joe Burrow will Jordan win. Jordan Davis. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Burrow will win his first MVP. (laughs) Joe Burrow wins first MVP. Yep. Why not? I mean, it's not crazy. I mean, it's bold, but it's not crazy. If you pair, if you're pairing up Jamar Chase getting offensive player of the year, then he somebody has to throw it to him, right? Mm -hmm. See, I'm looking more towards, and I know the reason being, I'm going to go with Patrick Mahomes. Here's why. We're going to see, you know, does Andy Reid really put his stamp on this and say, we got to keep this thing going. The enemy is gone. You can't take a day off. You can't, no, none of that stuff. You got to come out there and every week you got to produce. That's just how I see it, especially if they go out and get, you know, DeAndre Hopkins. Okay, so then I'm glad you said that. Let's transition to this next bold prediction. It's about the Chiefs. The Chiefs will be undefeated heading into their Week 10 bye. Uh, don't tell Lions fans Who's that. Who they have? The Lions? Am I allowed to speak upon this? Yeah, hold okay. on. Let me tell you who they have. Lions, Jags, Bears, Jets, Vikings, Broncos twice, Chargers, and the Dolphins. They're supposed to be bold, right? That's not that bold. Where, where, it doesn't sound bold. Where are the away games? I don't, I'm, I'm, okay. I'm not so sure. So I have it here. They go to Jacksonville. They go to the Jets, to the Vikings. To the Broncos, and then they're at Halloween. Those are the road games. No, I think they can go. I mean, it's the NFL, so every now and then you get that one team that jumps up. But I nah. think that's why it's bold because predicting them to go—it's hard to go undefeated. Nine and zero is that's tough. But I, I would say if I had to put money on it, I put money on that they're going to be undefeated by Halloween. Yeah. And then let's close it out here with a local one. Jamison Williams will score six touchdowns in his final 11 games. So that's one every other one game. One every other game. That's It says here at the end of it, it says defenses won't be prepared for how easily he can decimate a secondary. Yeah, now, remember, get, there yeah. will be injuries now yeah. on teams. He will be fresh. But you only get to surprise a defense once. Correct. And the NFL has this thing called TV and tape, and they figure you out. It's the one sport where, yeah, you, you only get one game in the sun, and then after that, you become a has-been. But every other – yeah, I mean, I can see every other game. I mean, if, if uh, Jamal could score 17, he could score six. Do you want me to say it? He's the best thing ever. How's golf going to hit him downfield that many times? You know what? Uh, I was told I that meant nothing. I don't think it meant anything in camp. Was, uh, I think somebody okay. from their little tiny car <laughs> texted in. It's it's not a tiny car. It, you can fit do you four ha- do you in have there to, comfortably. Do you have to pull the car over in order to text? Like, do you have to keep the phone in the trunk? <laughs> Or can you? I mean, you could probably reach to the trunk and grab. Right, that's boat. true too, David. It's not that small. <laughs> Knock the snow off his back license plate. <laughs> you call <laughs> me today and you go, "Is it like a one seater? Just you and the steering wheel?" What did Mike tell you guys? I drive. I, thought, I just thought you, you can was fit selfish. four in there. Maybe not David's family like, of twelve. I'm like, I guess he really doesn't like his wife. I, you know what? In it's like riding car. in an airplane. <laughs> <laughs> my car. I want to be by myself. No passengers. That is in football today.